to first introduce myself. Uh, my name is Scott Bryan, and I am the president and founder of the Southeast Idaho Paranormal Organization. And we'd like to welcome you to the Monarch Hotel. Now, the Monarch Hotel has been known also as the Marion Hotel, and I want to tell you a little bit about it. It opened in 1909, and when it did, this was actually one of Pocatello's finest hotels. In fact, they um, bragged about how they used to have Persian carpets here. But the thing that they were most proud of was that this was one of the very first buildings in Pocatello that had indoor plumbing. So I'm sure Stephanie may have mentioned this, but um, today when we're here, please don't open any of the doors. Because even today, almost every single one of these rooms is still rented. And so if you open a door, I'm, I can't promise what you're going to see. You probably don't want to find out. But anyway, uh, even today though, going back to the plumbing, right back here, they still share a community shower and then there's actually a women's and men's bathroom on each floor. And that's from that original plumbing just going down that side of the building. Now, here in this building, we have two recorded deaths, and that's in recent history. That's in the last 10 to 15 years. Um, we were very excited as the CPO, the Southeast Idaho Paranormal Organization, to get in here. We've known about this building for a while, and just the owners had, I guess, warm up to us or something. But they've been extremely nice to us this year, allowed us to come in, investigate. And then, of course, they were super nice to us to allow all you folks to come on the tour and come in here. But I'm actually a trained archaeologist, and so for me, uh, places like this are really special. Because really, there hasn't been a lot of change in this building from now since 1909. Uh, a lot of this, this is all... Or, I don't know how, how much of it, but a lot of it is original uh, from that time. So for me, it's kind of like stepping back in time, and you can just get a flavor of what these things might have been like in, in the past. Now, I have mentioned that this was one of Hotel's finest, but we did have some rumors that there may have been a little more than just sleeping going on in this Let me show you one feature. So, um, you might have noticed with all these rooms here, we have these big windows or once upon time windows uh, that look directly into the rooms. Now what we are told is that these were just filled with a solid piece of clear glass. And there were curtains. They'd put curtains up, those curtains could open, they could close. So we kind of feel like it's given a new meaning to that term window shop. <laughs> we are close to the railroad at this location, and in those days, that sort of thing really did seem to follow uh, the railroad wherever they went. So again, if that happened, we don't have hard proof that that did, but if it happened, it would not be surprising. It's probably very likely. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to play you some video clips of our investigation. We did this about, oh, a month and a half ago or so. And again, hopefully, if you need to sit down or, or whatever, move around, we just want you to be able to see this, and we'll go from there. <laughs> 